Today I'm going to show you how to do video analysis on Pasco's capstone software in this quick video. I have already opened the capstone software and then what I'm going to do is add the media. How would I do this? Go and click on the small arrows and choose the movie and drag it onto the screen and then Oh, click on the open movie file and then let's choose the video that I'm gonna work on I have this one it's pretty short video let's open it so what's going on in the video when I play it basically I'm throwing away a <coughs> baseball, baseball and it's having a projectile motion then we are gonna analyze what's going on through this action I wanna have this bigger screen which is good to work on it so how would I start video analyzing if I go and click on this little button, it's gonna give me this toolbar and then it's gonna give me this Y axis coordinate and also this tool, which is a calibration tool. What do we have to do with the <coughs> calibration tool is it allows us calibrate our action to the real world situation what would I do is take as the length what how to do this one it's not exactly visible but I put a meter stick uh, in the video and then it lays down here so it's one meter how would I calibrate it when you hover on the calibration tool you see this it's changing uh, its shape to arrows and then you can drag it to the ends let's do it it is barely seen when I can put here it's one meter you are not able to see right now what's going on here let's change the color of the calibration tool and so that we can figure out what's going on there how would I change the calibration tool colors I would go to properties and then click on the calibration tool and then click on this browse button and then I would choose this blue color and I click on this one and then say ok and as you see now I can see my calibration tool better that's how we change the color of the calibration tool and also the other thing I want to do is how would I adjust this calibration right now I have a one meter stick but what if I would have like one and a half meter stuff and then what I what if I would want to choose this uh, framework which is not one meter how would I do this I would go to properties choose calibration tool and then scroll it down and then here real world length and I would increase this or less how would I do this I would say 0.5 meter to do that I'm gonna remove this one and the data unit they give you like in centimeter meter and feet I'm choosing the <coughs> I'm choosing the meter and then that's all for now I said okay and then it gave me as you see here 0.5 meter but our meter uh, is not half to do so I'm gonna drag it to middle. Right, 
that's the middle part, which is 0.5 meter, right? Okay, good. The other thing I would want to do is, so when you click on this one, it played like this one. When you click this one, this one, this one, nothing is happening, right? So how? what would I do is, I would want to have, now I want to have, uh, I want to collect the data from the experiment. How would I do this? First, I need to play some with the frameworks. How would I do this? Go to the settings again, overlay, and then whenever I play with this stuff, the frames, one frame is gonna play. What I wanna do is like having five. Frame up for each moment, and then I'm gonna say okay. Then what I'm gonna do is click this video here, and then click on this next frame. What's gonna happen? Oh, as you see, my hand started moving, and then. goes that way as you see we are gonna have many many data to collect the other thing I want to mention about is this part the X and Y coordinate what I would want to do is right now Play with this X and Y coordinates. I want to collect the data whenever the ball uh, releases from my hand. How would I do this? At this time, it's starting releasing from my hand, and I'm gonna place my X and Y coordinate at this point and then. Uh, if I play the, the the video, it's gonna start moving. Let's see what's going on again. Good. So let's start taking some data. I want to track the video. How would I do this? You would first play the video at this point make sure that it's gonna start from your hand okay good right now it's on my hand almost about to get rid of my hand I'm gonna click on this uh, little button on toolbar which allows me track the object when I click on it's gonna just move once it didn't work as you see here right now because since I clicked on this one it didn't recognize that I'm gonna start tracking the object now what I'm gonna do is click on one as you see here I clicked one and then it just pointed out that point and then the next one is gonna be here 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 I didn't do it but I wanna mention about something right now if you wanna have very very more pre uh, precise data what you could do is click on this magnifying tool as you see here it's like this one and then you would go try to hover on the ball center of the ball and then click for each time that's what i got for now and then i would wanna i collected my data and what i'm gonna do is right now try to grab it how would i do this first let's get rid of this magnify tool and then let's make a smaller screen here now I'm gonna have this graph tool here 
it usually automatically places the video part here and then hmm, graph part that side. Uh, you would be uh, really careful about this tracked object one part if you collected many of you tried many times you would have many tracked object one just make sure which one you are gonna be using and tracking um, I want to have the time on x axis of course and then on y axis I want to have x position let's see what's happening oh very nice graph we have right now as we already know that on x axis we have a constant velocity that's why our graph uh, x position graph is gonna be like this straight line you wanna take the slope is gonna give you the slope of the graph in this case it is like 2.4 meter per second as well see. now what I'm gonna do is take this as y position as you see here it could not start from zero because we couldn't take on this point right now because of that's the weakness of this uh, software for now you need to be able to adjust this one to start and then when you take this we could take this first data from here it has much time elapsed and then we got this nice parabolic graph and you see it's very uh, it has a good look to our experiment the next step what I wanna observe is the velocity versus time graph x velocity versus time graph what's it? Um, it's not quite a um, nice data because we took you know very small uh, amount of the data but as you see here on x the x velocity versus time graph almost uh, constant at this point around 2.4 which is the point and uh, the value that we got it let me show you some more better data as you see here almost constant what's the next thing I wanna take the velocity versus time graph on y-axis as you see here we have a straight line here once at the top it uh, has a zero velocity and that uh, it starts getting a blow off the ground okay the next thing you would wanna check out is you also can uh, still try to take the slope of the graph here which is 10 um, negative 10 milli meter per second square as you see it's better right now it's like negative 9.4 which is very very close to the uh, gravity constant number uh, Acceleration on x axis, what's it? Let's check out. As you see, it's very, very, very uh, small amount, which means that it is almost points. Uh, 
Oh, the slope is uh, zero. That means the acceleration on x-axis is zero, which already we know that it's constant velocity. What about the acceleration on y-axis? Oh, yeah, the data. It eliminates some data points, I don't know why, but as you see here, we have the mean, we are going to have like 9.5 bar value, which is very close to the 9.8, which is very close to our D. Gravity concept number. I want to get back to the video part again. The next thing uh, you would want to learn about what these tools are when you click on this uh, calibration tool. It, you can adjust your distance, you can adjust your angle, you can adjust the radius. But I would do for such as an experiment. In an experiment, I would try to figure out what's the velocity when the ball has just released from my hand. To be able to figure out, I would want to use the I would want to use the angle tool. How would I do this angle tool? Click on this one. And then this one is going to be here. This one is going to be here. That's the, almost the angle that the ball has just released from my hand. What's the angle? It is 55.72 degree and you can have your students play with this degree and then make sure what value they could have and then what they could do some interesting you know calculations And also you can use this video analysis part for pre-fall and for other some uh, experiments. Thank you.